And I welcome the lounge to something a bit new. Yes, I'm running around as a bat right now, and I found these cool pair of amazing Technicolor glasses, but I have no idea what they do. And I have also been doing a bit of off-camera work. Yes, as you can see, there are a couple new trees in the backyard. A couple new saplings. Although, this is the minor work. The major redo is in here. I've set up a little ballista door for another reason than I could and uh yeah welcome to the witchery mod yes this is where things begin to pick up at an uh rather alarming rate I've got the witch's oven over there you saw me make that last time and now this is a kettle this was a bitch to make as w as was this uh, as w was this distillery uh here let me show you their recipes this Distillery, uh -huh. yeah. Distill, yes. Now then, this isn't a tombstone. Uh, I showed you how to make clay jars. There's just like basically uh, this little piece right here in clay. Just make that in clay and then fire it. The thing you get from that in an oven and you'll get one, a bunch of these. Now these are a bitch because you need a whiff of magic. A diamond and a lava bucket. This is the tricky bit, because to get a whiff of diamond, you need to smelt in a witch's oven a rowan sapling. How do you get a rowan sapling? Well, that be the trick. That be the trick, folks, because naturally you cannot get no you cannot get rowan saplings, alder saplings, rowan uh hawthorn saplings normally. You cannot even get that moss stuff that's covering my room now. Yeah, this is Spanish moss. You can't get that normally either. Or these, which are gliss weeds. Or glisten weeds. And by the way, just let me show you something. Uh, oh yeah, to get the uh, Spanish moss, you need, need, need a set of shears. These are glistening weeds. They'll glow. And I'm going to show you how we get uh, all these normally. Uh, well, legitly at least. Another thing I've picked up is a tongue of dog. I had to kill quite a few wolves to get this, and I am so upset about that. But I'm going to need a lot of that as well. Oh boy, it's a bit later in the day for me, folks. Anyways, we're going to need some cactus. We're going to need some cactus dye, some wood ash. Need some cactus dye. You're going to need to put that here. Some eggs. You're going to need to put those there. Uh, I think it's bone meal that goes here. Brain not work. Ah, mandragora root. Yes, these are going to be interesting to check out in a moment. You're going to need a bunch of those. Uh, dang it. Brain, work with me. Okay, I'm also going to need a load of wood ash. This is why we need all that wood ash. going to shove that in there. It, the wood ash goes in the four corners. Uh, the stuff we need is mutandus. Yes, here we go, mutandus. Ah, a hint of rebirth, which is what you get from uh, smelting oak wood saplings in the uh, witch oven. So if we put this here, yes, we get a bunch of mutandus. Now that we're going to put all that back in there. Yeah, I grabbed a fair bit of it. Oh, cool, look at that. It pulls out a little draw. I like that. Anyways, what you do with Mutandus is uh, you right-click any plant. Any plant in the world, and it will turn into another plant. It's actually really sweet. Now, check this. Boo, mushroom, flower, hawthorn sapling, ember moss. Oh, I don't have that yet. That's really cool because Ember Moss will actually set things on fire. Okay. I have about a couple more tries, so I'll give you a couple more showings. Alder Sapling. Oak Sapling. Rowan Sapling. Yep, that's all three saplings. Shit, I just used more mutants than I had anticipated or intended. Does this work on animals? No? Oh, alright. No skin off my back. Now then, uh, we're going to need to make some Utandus Extremis because I have something very cool planned. Yes, I'll do. Yes, I'll do. Okay, uh. 
Components missing. Let's see. I have wood ash. I have eggs. Cactus green. Oh, you damn dirty cactus. Green. It's kind of cool running around as a bat because you're only about a block tall. So you fit in all these cool little spots and places you normally otherwise wouldn't. Now that, now that this is why I like the magic table. Because now we just click. And now we have loads of this stuff. And I love that idea. And uh, we're missing Mandragora root. Or Mandrake root. We're only going to take one more because we only have one more bottle of rebirth. Mutantis is going to be uh, vital later on. So that's why I'm making so much of it. Now this over here. This is a kettle. I showed you how to make that just a couple minutes ago. Another thing we're going to need is a bunch of wool of bat for later projects. This stuff. And the only way we can get it is with this, an Arth with an Arthana, which if I click R, it's this. Just an emerald, two gold nuggets, a golden bar, and a stick. Now imagine trying to have to hit bat with a tiny little sword like this. It's annoying, but it's... I may have burnt the roof down a bit. Shit. Oh, I'm a fucking lucky bastard. Ugh. Let's go ahead and patch that up. Keep that from um, happening again. Oh, I burnt down. Kay's gonna be cross. Can't even go a day with a recording without me burning down the house. Glad I removed the Spanish moss from this wall, otherwise it would have been a catastrophe. That and I probably could have just done something like that. Hey, actually, that doesn't look too bad. I like that. Anyways, um, we're going to be making a brew. Yes, we're going to be brewing something. To be specific, we're going to be brewing some redstone soup. Yes, and we have the tongue of dog, we have the mandrake root, we have the wool of bat, and we have a bunch of redstone. What we need is a drop of luck. And we, for that, we need mutantus extremis, which is just me surrounding another wart and a bunch of mutantus. And this, this is going to be the tricky of the bit. Tricky of the two. We're going to need a gas tier and a diamond vapor. And to get a diamond vapor, we're going to need a diamond and an oil of vitriol. And to get an oil of vitriol, we need a foul fume and quicklime. But to even power the distillery, we need the most important part of the witchery mod the altar. Uh Oh, I spelt it wrong. Hehe. <laughs> Not a crafting altar, a normal altar. Yes, and for that we need two pieces of row and wood, a breath of the goddess, a horned an exhale of the horned one, and a water bottle, and a bunch of stone bricks. Let's see if we have all that. I have a funny feeling we don't. Oh, but we have two breaths of the goddess. We're going to need two, because it only makes three, and we're going to need six. Two exhales of the horned ones. We have a water bottle. No, we... Yes, we have four rowan wood. Now we just need stone bricks. All the things we don't have, it's probably going to be the stone bricks, which throw us a curveball. We have three of eight. If we had stone, I could just manage it too. But apparently, we do not. Balls. Alright, so we're just gonna smelt some stone really quickly. In the meantime, however, I guess I could show you the garden! Yes, I've made a sp Oh, you. Oh! Oh! Sheep! Sheep! That was uncool. Hissing hat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now then, I'm gonna shift into Omegas for this. Now then. This is Belladonna, Snowbell, 
mandrake, and you know what a cactus is. And out here we have water artichokes. These are the four uh, seeds I had to off cam get. These guys are really rare apparently now that water artichoke, as you can see, grows on the water, which is really cool. Makes it very interesting plant to farm because you need copious amounts of water. And these are the little plants you get from them. Now we get to the slight, the more land-based ones. These are Belladonna. As you can see, they grow like normal wheat. It's not that big a plant. It's not that big a deal. Not that big a deal. Now then, here we get to the more interesting plants. Snowbell. Now then, snowbells. They, they're literally growing snowballs. Now then, let's see if I can get that rare drop to spawn. Uh, You find these for the snowballs because snowballs are apparently used a lot. And haha, -ha, there we go. This is something else you get, an icy needle. Those are kind of better use late game. But, trust me, their use will be vital. You want a good supply, so it is a very good idea to be farming those very early on. Because you will regret not having them later on. And now then, the reason why I have so little of this, this is Mandrake. Now the dangerous thing about Mandrake is they spawn these little bastards occasionally. Now then, uh, more often than not, it's going to be spawning that little thing. I have one in my uh, morph morphology codex so that you can see it. Yes, a little Mandrake. Now that it is possible to punch these and get lucky and not have to fight a Mandrake, you'll just get the root and a lot more seeds than you would, you would if you killed the Mandrake. Uh, the reason the Mandrake's not hurting me is because, as you can see, it is actually damaging my armor. It'll damage your armor and then start to hurt you. So, uh, don't wear armor while you're wearing these. Otherwise, you're going to lose it really quickly, like I have. And now that we've given this some time to smelt... Uh, first, let me go ahead and store the Ember Moss away, because that stuff's really useful, apparently, later on. Door? Thank you, Door. Alright, there. As you can see, I've gotten myself a small little stockpile going of all these necessary things and items and such. Because, trust me, you're gonna need a lot of them later on. A lot, a lot of them. Spanish moss, especially, you're gonna need buckets of. Like, just buckets and buckets and buckets. If you nuke that water block, I will be upset. Which is kind of why I've covered this whole room in Spanish moss, because you're going to need a lot of it. Anyways, back on to what we're doing. We need those stone bricks. Now then, uh, derp, derp, uh-huh, yep, here we go. There we go, now we have all the stone bricks we could ever hope for. Oh yeah, that's right, we need two water bottles, don't we? Now then, we go over to our magic little thing. We push this down. We're gonna put this in here. Uh, I recall it being the other way, but oh cool, we get it anyways. Yay, we get all six we did it. Now then, this room's not quite big enough for an altar, but I'm gonna try and micro fit one in. Now that you need six blocks and you need to set them up like this. When you've got them set up, this nice red covering will show up, and if we right click it, we have an altar power of 684. Hum, that needs to be a bit higher actually. I may move this outside? I know that if I were to put more plants in here, it'd get more powerful, but as it stands at the moment, outside's a little too snarly for me to effectively uh, use it. I might have to build like a little magi hut out there, but there are ways of powering it up. For example, um, I know there's a skeleton head up in the attic for we were looking around. So if I go ahead and grab that. We went ahead off cam, I think, or maybe it was on cam, I don't remember. And we looked through the whole house, getting stuff and everything ready. 
and lighting up most of the house because we were tired of the house being just a giant mob's den. This is the third floor. I may actually move all my witchery stuff up here because this is the intended workshop floor. Anyways, uh, I'm flying through the hallways. Yes, Kay was probably right. We do need a grand central staircase somewhere, somewhere, somewhere. All right, now that oh jolly good, it sounds like we got company. Shit and blood, bloody shit. Behave yourself. Now that there's the skull way over there. Oh, wait, what am I doing? I could be practicing my magic. Get your ass back. So this is obviously not as well lit as me and Kay had anticipated it being. The reason I am alternating spells is because you get more uh, XP this way. There we go. Dang it! Big fat fingers of mine. Now that this is what we came up here for. The skull head. By adding things to the top of our altar, we can make it more powerful. We can make it charge faster. We can increase its capacity. Now then, uh, with the Arthana, there is a small chance of getting creeper hearts. But as you can see, it's a small chance. A very small chance. Like, they're very, very rare. And you're probably not gonna get one. Ow! Damn it! Everything's angry. And I'm hungry. I'm dying of hunger. Now then, uh, I wonder if with open blocks we could store our XP. I know that was a thing at one point in time. Now that now that we have this skeleton head, uh, a wither skeleton head would honestly be better. But as it stands, I am not. I have no real access to a wither just yet. So yeah, that's a thing. Oh. I see it's beginning to cover my door. Sweet. Now then, uh, all we should have to do with this skelly head is uh, shove it right about there. Yeah, and now we should right click it. Yeah, look at that. Just with a singular skelly head, we've got a massive increase. And now this guy should be running. Hey, what do you know? It did run. Sweet. Now all we gotta do is put in a bunch of quick lime. That should all that be required to go in there. And now we'll put all this in. And yeah, now we can leave this to smelt and we can get slime, gypsum, and uh, oil of vitriol, which is gonna be very useful later on. It, actually, it's already useful because we're trying to make a redstone stew. I'm probably trying to jump the gun several heads and I'm trying to make something that's really, really cool and I don't dare spoil it for anyone. But, as it stands, I don't know what Gypsium is going to be used for. I know it's part of the Witchery mod. Okay, and, uh, well, since we have a lot of Nether Wart, may as well make ourselves a bunch of Mutandus Extremis. Well, I say a bunch, but I should probably hold back and keep some of it. Some. Another th thing I'm more concerned about will be Blaze Rods. Which, uh, now that we have our bat form, we could probably try and take a stab at successfully finding and maintaining a blaze spawner, that is. But it probably would be a risk. Odd, it seems like all our nether warts just poofed. There's the wither wart. Where's the nether wart? Aha! Uh -huh. Nether war. I'm just a moron. Ballsin'. 
Now that we can run over here to our magic table, put these back in there. And now, to make Mutandus Extremis, all we do is put Nether Wart in the center. And then surround with... Yeah, see that? That's Mutandus Extremis. I have actually no clue what this does. I don't think it gives you more uh, variations of trans, but in the meantime... We're going to eat some food, and because I'm an idiot and we have the tombstone mod, I'm going to go into the nether as a back, and we're going to see if I can find a, uh, false. We're going to see if I can find a nether fortress, so I will see you all then. Ch -ch -ch